Now more of our continuing coverage 30 years after Andrew, the storm that changed South Florida. It was all hands on deck at Zoo Miami to protect the zoo's residents. Quick thinking by Zoo Miami's Ron McGill saved the lives of dozens of flamingos. His idea was to have the flamingos ride out Andrew in a zoo restroom. Wow. CBS4 photojournalist Rafael Marciano shows us why that's still significant today. <laughs> This is originally where the flamingos were. It's since been reconstructed to be the Florida Mission Everglades exhibit where we have wading birds. But when the flamingos were in here, we basically had to jump into this pond and we all had to hand grab these flamingos. It was kind of organized chaos. But we would catch up the entire flock of flamingos here and then walk right to our left to the public restroom. Because of the close proximity of these public restrooms to what was then the Flamingo Lake, it was just easy to walk them right across and we walk right into the bathroom and put them in here. And as we were putting them in, I had a little camera on my hip, and I remember turning around and looking and seeing all these flamingos in the, in the bathroom here, looking at themselves in the mirror, making the noise and thinking to myself, that's weird. And I just took a couple of pictures of it, just keep on going, you know, never understanding how iconic that photograph would be. If you'll see in the old photograph, the sink went all the way to the wall. It's actually a flamingo, if you look closely, hiding under the sink. And all the other ones are up here against the wall looking at themselves in the mirror. Now this was a perfect place to put these flamingos because first of all, it had no windows. It was a perfect bunker. Tile floors that we could easily clean, put hay on top of. But most importantly, it was a source of fresh water in the toilets. All the flamingos we put in here, they all survived. So in here now is where we're using a holding area for the birds that is specifically for birds. It's not a public restroom any longer. And um, this is where we can protect the flamingos and other wading birds in case of a storm. So now, having learned from our previous challenges, when there's a hurricane threat, flamingos are moved into this special building made specifically for birds. And as you can see, it has a built-in pool, it's clean walled all around, and this is what will protect them during a storm. As a matter of fact, during Hurricane Irma, this is where the flamingos came. Now, a lot of people would think that none of the flamingos back from Hurricane Andrew are still here, but the fact is, flamingos can live over 50 years. So in fact, we have eight individuals that lived through Hurricane Andrew that still live here.